Hey guys, what's up? Today we're in Anaheim for VidCon and we're going to be showing you uh, Google's new application that they've built at Google I.O. and that is Chrome for iOS. So here's the Chrome app in the App Store. It's completely free for anyone that wants to download it. You can find a link to that down in the description. Uh, and you can just go in, download it for free, and it should download onto your home screen. Here's the main page. This is like sort of like the uh, UI that you see when you have the desktop version. It's got your most visited sites. Here at the top you have the unified search and URL bar. You have the menu and then you also have the tab view. When you tap on the tab view it shows you all your open tabs and you can scroll through them. This is pretty different from all the other apps. Um, basically you're just scrolling through whatever apps you have open. You can see new tab, YouTube channel, jailbreak nation, and uh, Google for test. So you just scroll to the one you want and you can tap on it and it'll bring it up to the front. You can see there it is up in the URL bar and we'll just wait for that to load on 3G and you can see it has the progress across right there. Then you have the menu here. With this you can open up a new tab, a new incognito or private browsing tab. You can go to the bookmarks, you can look at what's open on other devices, go to email, find in page, basically just all the menu options that you have on the desktop version. When you open up a new tab, um, which you can open up with this, and tap new tab, uh, you can see down at the bottom you've got your top sites. You can also go to bookmarks to go to a site there, or you can uh, sign into your Google account and it'll allow you to access tabs from your other devices. Basically it's just a, a fairly simple browser. You know it doesn't have a lot of flash or features, but it's very functional and you can hit back there and then the forward button will appear and once again you can search for Google or type a URL in here. So that's essentially all there is to this app. Um, we really recommend you go download it and play around with it because you know it's free and it's Google Chrome so if you use Google Chrome on the desktop it's uh, you know exciting that they finally have it for iOS. But that's all we have for now. Once again the link is down in the description but thanks for watching and please subscribe.